50 grams of propane are reacting with 8 grams of oxygen. So, like we said in the previous video, those questions should be solved by using the following table. Grams we actually have, molecular weight, the number of moles converting the grams to actual moles, and the coefficient ratios. We have to take 8 grams of oxygen and to see and to fill the entire table. So let's do it. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16. 16 times 2 is actually 32. The actual grams we actually have divided by the molecular weight will always give us the number of moles. You can say, hey, we have much more propane because we have only 0.25 from oxygen. So, of course, oxygen is our limiting reactant. But no, wait. You have to actually compare the coefficient ratios because one mole of propane is actually reacting with five moles of oxygen, which means we have to divide 0.25 by 5 and we will have an actual ratio of 0 0.05 and now only after we can see the coefficient ratio so we can actually see our limiting reactant which is of course the 0 0.05 moles of oxygen what does it mean what does it mean that we have 0 0.05 of oxygen it means that only 0 0.05 of oxygen moles of oxygen will be able to react with propane so now let's see how can we actually get the amount of products we have because of the limiting reactant. So if we have 0 0.05 moles as a coefficient ratios of oxygen, in order to get the actual moles of carbon dioxide and of water, you will have to multiply it by the coefficient of the products. So guys, check out how easy it is to actually using the following table to actually get the amount of products we have because of the limiting reactant. Multiply it by the coefficient and multiply it by this coefficient. So we have 0 0.15 moles of carbon dioxide because the limiting reactant, the number of moles that actually can react on this side and produ to produce product on that side is only 0 0.05 so we will multiply it by 3 and we will get 0 0.15 we'll get 0 0.15 because the coefficient is 3 and if we want to see how many water we will get it's even easier because now we know how to use the table we will get this number multiplied by this number the actual moles we are getting is guys it's so easy is actually 0 0.20 but actually they were asking you how many grams of carbon dioxide would you get in the following equation, in the following reaction, based on the fact that you have 50 grams of propane and 8 grams of oxygen. So now you have to just climb up the table and to reach the number of grams you have for carbon dioxide. So let's do it quickly. 0.15 moles carbon dioxide molecular weight is 44. And you can easily find the amount of grams by taking this number, multiply it by this number, and you will get, of course, the number of grams you have from carbon dioxide. This number, multiply it by this number, and we will get 6.6 .6 grams of carbon dioxide. So let me recap the entire video very easily. Check this out, guys. So, we have 50 grams of propane. The molecular weight of propane is 44. This divided by this, we get the actual moles, how many moles we have? 1.14. Great. The coefficients of the coefficient of propane is 1. Nice. We just divide it by 1, we get 1.14. We were given that we have 8 grams of oxygen. Nice. The molecular weight of the gas oxygen is 32. 16 times 2 equals 32. Nice. If we take this number, divide it by this number, we will get the amount of moles. Okay, but wait. The coefficient of oxygen is 5. So to get the coefficient ratios, we have to take the actual moles we have and to divide it, divide it by 5, by the coefficient number. So we will get that oxygen will limit the reaction. Now they are asking you, 
what are the products of the following reaction? 8 grams of oxygen and 50, and 50 grams of propane. Okay, we take the following number, we multiply it by the coefficients, and this will be the amount of moles we will get for each one of the products. If we have this number, we will multiply it by 3, and we will get the moles. And if we have this limiting reactant, and we will multiply it by 4, and we will get this reactant. And based on the fact we know we can climb up the table and to take this number, the number of moles of the products, and to actually go climb up the table and to, and to get the molecular weight, because it's obvious what it is, and the grams we actually have, we can easily get and fill the entire map the entire table based on stuff they gave you previously. So thank you so much for joining me, I will see you in the next video.